Kelsey Webb. I'm one of the 2021 uh, finalists for the iHeart Flying Foundation Seal Your Future in Flight Scholarship. First of all, I wanted to say thanks to everyone who supported and believed in me in getting to this point. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm excited to get to share my story with you. So I am a private pilot. I am working on my instrument license currently, and my long-term goal is to become a commercial airline pilot. I live in Boulder, Colorado, and I train out of Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport in Broomfield, Colorado. I really believe that I'm a great fit for the scholarship award because my journey has helped define the kind of leader I want to be and has helped me grow into that person that I always looked up to as a kid. When I was young, I fell in love with aviation, but I never understood where I would fit into the puzzle. At the time, I only knew of pilots who were men and women who were flight attendants. My love for flying made me feel sure that I was meant to be a flight attendant, so I began my career as soon as I had my bachelor's degree. I loved being in the sky and felt happiest when I was on my jump seat looking out over the tiny porthole at the endless clouds. Over three years of flying, I was introduced to so many new places and people that soon my perception began to change. The greatest impact came from working with female pilots who empowered me to take on a new challenge. In 2019, I decided it was my turn to transition to the flight deck and take hold of the controls. I know that because I found inspiration in seeing women represented as pilots, I too can be a great role model to the young girls and help them persevere to do what they never before thought was possible. I think what sets me apart from the crowd is my hunger for a challenge. I've always been an adventure seeker because I love knowing that whatever I set my mind to, I can achieve. From collegiate sports, to marathons, to moving all the way across the country, I aspire to have the best life that I can imagine for myself. And that is what I want other girls to see as they aspire for greatness in themselves. I've learned that nothing worthwhile comes without difficulty though, and 2020 was a year that brought unprecedented obstacles in the path to my goals. The COVID-19 outbreak brought flight school closures and airline furloughs, and I moved to California to care for my grandma who was recently widowed and left without options for assisted living. After struggling with the hows and whys of it all, I chose to make the most of my situation, so I secured a flight school loan while on leave and resumed my training at a new school out of Livermore, California. Two months later, I had my private pilot license and a new definition of what it means to never give up. Now that pandemic life has become the new normal, I have been working hard to continue my training since moving back to Colorado, and I plan to complete my instrument rating by summer of 2021. I will continue making loan payments with the help of a new full-time job in retail that lets me focus on using my mornings to train. With the help of a scholarship, I hope to continue funding my dreams by buckling down and keeping my nose to the grindstone. I am committing myself to prioritizing my flight training by using my time on furlough to learn as much as I can. I'm staying proactive during financial decline by making the use of free resources, simulator time, and ride sharing. I'm remaining grateful for the progress I've already made and keeping positive as the challenge increases. I'm seeking counsel in other pilots and building relationships with industry mentors as much as possible. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate all the iHeart Flying Foundation support and I'm so thankful again to be considered one of your finalists.